Am I catless now? Oh wait, wait. Am I catless now? Wait, wait. Am I catless now? No? Um, I have one more thing. What about now? It, yeah? Yes? Yes? Finally, I've always wanted to be Katniss. Oh, we're going back into the Hunger Games? Um, never mind about being Katniss. I think, never mind, I'm good, I'm good. I know this is a sad attempt at a bow, but when you're at Walmart and this is the only option, you just go for it. And yes, it's green and doesn't look like a real bow at all, but hey, it did its job, right? I mean, I'm Katniss, right? Right? I mean, I got the braid, even though it looks awful. I have the jacket, I've got the Mockingjay pin, I'm even wearing a shirt that says down here, but you can't see, down with capital. So, of course, this is from the first movie because who has like a skin tight? amazing looking, water resistant type of leotard at moment's notice. I mean, I definitely don't. <laughs> Guys, this movie, this movie, I'm just gonna throw it out there and say it. You may take it in a good way or you may take it in a bad way. I have to say this was one of the, if not the best, book to movie adaptation I have ever seen. Like, holy crap. Watch The Hunger Games and don't get me wrong, I love The Hunger Games, the movie. There are some quirks in it that I don't like, but Catching Fire, holy crap. It was the truest depiction of a book ever I've seen. Like, I reread Catching Fire a week before I saw this movie, maybe even less. And I remember the lines, I remembered everything in it very vividly, and like, I feel like the director, the writer, whoever, literally took these pages and put them in the movie script. Like, that's how accurate it was. So I was... I loved the movie. Like, it was amazing. Sorry for hearing swishy sounds. <laughs> That's my jacket. <laughs> May I take it off? No. I feel like I gotta rock this cat and slip, you know? But I, this movie, guys, this was, like, amazing. Like, I have to go see it five more times, like, right now. I loved every bit of it. Let's see what we can, I can think of. Because, you know, I should probably film this when I get back from a movie, but it was, like, Late, late, late. I thought the cast did great. Cat Jennifer Lawrence Katniss, amazing. She's an amazing Katniss. I thought Peta, um, Josh Hutcherson did great. I thought Gail. I just don't like Gail. Okay, so of course Liam Hemsworth or whatever his name is is super cute, but get out of here, Gail. Like get out of here. Also, with that, did you notice? Was it just me? I remember very distinctly that in the book. Gail and Katniss only kiss once, yet in this movie they kiss like three times. I was like, what the heck gets your lips off of her right now, buddy? Don't touch her. Was I the only one? Like, get out of here. I mean, other than that, I thought the cast was just awesome. I mean, this movie was just so great, like such a true depiction. Of course, they added scenes like with President Snow and I forget that guy's name, the new game maker in it, but I thought those were very pivotal scenes, like the scene with, um, um, President Snow and then his granddaughter. He's like, when did you start wearing your hair like that? And she's like, ever since the Hunger Games. It's Katniss's hair. And it just really shows how the Hunger Games is like so popular and like it's not even like a a bad thing for them. Like they look at it as a sport. Like it's pop culture almost. And it's like people look up to the victors and it's just like crazy. And I thought that was a great scene to put in. I just really, oh, and the part where when Katniss hit the bow and the whole thing blue and President Snow was there and he's like, what, what's going on? And all the screens went blank. I was like, yeah, suck on that, President Snow. Like, it was just so phenomenal. Seeing how they made the arena with the clock and the jungle, it was just so awesome. And the fog, let's talk about the fog. The fog was so freaking cool, despite all the ugly boils it gave them. But tell me how creepy was that fog? It was super creepy. And you know what, who I really loved in this movie was jo the actress, that Jenna Malone, that played Johanna. I thought she was the best. Like, uh, one of my favorite parts of the whole movie, and even of the book, but I don't remember if she says it. Sorry, my hair's coming undone. 
I don't remember if she says it in the book. You have to forgive me. It's when they're doing their interviews, um, when Caesar's doing the interviews, and Johanna in the movie says, you know, F these games and F all this. I was like, yep, yep. I think if, if I would to say anything, that's probably what I would have said. <laughs> because I thought that was just awesome. And the elevator scene, awesome. And then it's just, she was just an amazing character. Like, I love that and Max oh my gosh Max oh that was so so beautiful and Finnick did anybody like Finnick I thought Finnick was super I thought he could have been a little bit hotter but who cares he was still super hot all right I thought it was great and BT and Virus and ah uh, there's just so many amazing parts of this movie that honestly this movie just gives me hope it gives me hopes for the future upcoming movies that are coming out as YA to book adaptations like it gives me so much hope for Divergent because if Catching Fire if these people can get it right Divergent can get it right. Maze Runner can get it right. Vampire Academy. I don't know. The preview for that, I'm kind of... It kind of seems like they're taking a Mean Girls-esque on it, which is wouldn't be surprised because it's from the director of Mean Girls or the writer from Mean Girls. So I don't know about that one, but it just gives me so much hope for these other movies. Like I'm like the YA book to movie. Can, you guys can do it right, Hollywood. You can do it right and you did it right and you're gonna make a lot of money even when you're doing it right. So I am so excited about that. I just loved it. I loved the ending. I loved how they ended it exactly how the book ended it. I thought that was great. I was super happy about that. My friend was like, that's not how, she's like, that's the ending. I'm like, that's exactly how the book ended, so you know how we feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes the movie changes and you're like, they don't get that sort of, what effect as you do when you're reading the book? Am I right? So just this movie, guys, if you have not, if you were hesitant to go see this movie because of the whole book to movie adaptation, Hollywood doesn't do it the great, just stop. You are going to love this movie, I think. It was like one of the best, if not, I'm gonna say it's the best that I've ever seen book to movie adaptations. And I love Harry Potter, but I just, I'm telling you, these guys just like ripped the pages out of this book and put them right on the script. Like it was that accurate. And I adored it. And I just, uh, I need more Katniss and Peeta in my life. I'm excited for Mockingjay, even though we're gonna get crazy Katniss. Katniss that just is so different from the Katniss we know. Or the <laughs> which will be interesting to see but I'm so excited for it I'm ready for the conclusion I'm just uh, I want to go see this like now again it's like the scene with the whole birds I thought that was great like all of the clock elements were just amazing like the monkeys tell me that did not scare you with that monkey like I was like Wah! I was freaked out I am so excited for it. I am just, I haven't been this excited about a movie in a while because when I go to book to movie adaptations, I've got that some sort of fear that they're not going to get it right. And I'm just not going to love it. And I'm just, I'm just one exceeded my ex expectations and more. Like it made me, I gotta say it's Divergent, Maze Runner, Vampire Academy, what other movies that are coming out. You better step up your game because you got a lot of, you got a, you got big footsteps to follow with Catching Fire. Like, yeah, like, it, you, you guys gotta do it. You guys gotta bring it like Catching Fire did. Challenge, challenge, accept my challenge, Hollywood, that you have to do things like that that are awesome. So of course, obviously, I'm gonna give this movie a five out of five popcorns, five out of five cinema reels, whatever I'm putting up here. I loved it. I'm gonna go see it again and again and again and again. So if you guys have seen it, please tell me what are your favorite parts in the movie. Like, I gotta say, I just really love Johanna in this movie. I love Katniss, but I just love Johanna in this movie. Like, I loved it. And I may be pronouncing her name right. That's just how I say it. Anyway, that is all for me, your friendly neighborhood Katniss Everdeen impersonator. This probably looks horrible, but whatever. I feel like Katniss in it, but I don't want to be Katniss. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.